Hi, in this video lecture, we're going to learn a hacker rank problem called as left rotate. This particular problem is present in two sections. It is present in the tutorials, LinkedIn placements, and it's titled as left rotate the array, as well as it is also present in data structures, arrays, left rotation, the same problem. Let's try to read the question and understand what you need to do. It says that a left rotation operation on an array of size n shifts each of the array's elements one unit to the left. Given an integer d, rotate the array that many steps left and return the result. Example out here, the value of d is 2. This is the list of elements. After two rotations, remember in the first rotation, 1 goes to the end and then the second rotation, 2 is removed and moved to the end. So this should be the list, final result, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2. And if you want to understand the same problem in more detail, they have given the input out here once more, wherein the first line of input will contain two numerical values, which is n and d. n is the number of elements and d is the number of rotations what you need to perform. And the next line basically tells you the number of, the sorry, the values of the array. So here they've explained how the rotations happen at every step. In the first iteration, the first element is taken and put at the end. So it becomes 2, 3, 4, 5, 1. Then again, the first element is taken and put at the end. So it becomes 3, 4, 5, 1, 2. Then again, 3 is taken and put at the end. It becomes 4, 5, 1, 2, 3. And again, 4 is taken and put at the end. 5, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the final result which you need to print. I will be solving this particular problem in two different ways. One, the exact way what has been specified in the explanation by taking the first element and putting at the end. And later on, I will also be solving the same thing using one line statement. First, I'll try to use a Python tutor, a platform for explanation through visualizations. I've taken the value of n as 5, d as 4, whatever is given in the sample input out here, and the data in the array called as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I need to perform this operations of let, left rotate. So what I should do? I should delete the first element. How do we delete the first element of the array? We can take the help of pop and pass on the index 0. That will delete the first element and that returns. I can capture into a variable and later on I can put that element at the end. So I can just try to write a dot append. I'll put on this variable. And this operation I need to perform d number of times. So in order to perform d number of times, so I'll just try to run a loop d times. And finally, whatever you have the array, you can print it. I can print in this way. And then we'll try to visualize this out here first. And then we'll try to go to the next method of optimized code. First, n is set as 5, d is set, array is set. Now in the first iteration, you can just observe the first element of the array, that is 1, is captured into a variable x. It has been removed from the list now. Now we add that element at the end. Again, we remove this first element, which is 2, and we put at the end. Third element, that is first element in the third iteration, that is 3, put at the end. Now, First element is 4, we remove this and put at the end. So we did this and then we are able to print this 5, 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 1, 2, 3, 4. Yes, one more thing is we don't want comma out here, we don't want a square bracket. But printing this way is printing the square bracket as well as the comma. We'll try to see how we can optimize it. This method is going to solve the problem but it's going to be time consuming. So let us try to observe will this solve the problem or not. To do this, first let me just try to write the code to read the value of n and d, which will be given in the first line. n comma d equal to, I'll just try to write input dot split and I can map every element to an integer and then I'll try to convert it to a tuple wherein from the tuple we'll basically do the job of unpacking. Next one, I'll try to take the elements of an array. 
input dot split and once I split this, I'll try to apply this map for every element. I would like to do a conversion to integer, convert to list. And after that, I'd like to take up this one. But remember, while printing, I don't want this comma and the square bracket. For that, either you can run a loop printing the element by having the separator equal to space. Or there's another way where I just need to put a star out here. I just try to run this here. You can just observe we got this output here. Exactly the same thing. I'll try to put it out here. Let me try to run this code. First, the sample test case. past all the test cases. But there is a much more optimized way of do, solving the same problem. So what we can say is, why do you really need to perform n number of, oh, sorry, d number of iterations? If I want to perform four rotations, why can't I just take this element after four, see, ex skip the first four elements, and then take the remaining elements, which is five out here, Right, and then take the first d number of elements. Take the first d number of elements. Once you take this, you can concatenate this. That's it. So what should we do? First, take the elements from the position d onwards till the end, e of d till the end. This will give me all the elements from d onwards till the end. I'll just try to put it into a pretty variable so that we can visualize this. And then here I'll try to take up the elements up to d. So once I get that, I can just try to write x plus y. I can perform the job of x plus y. x plus y. Or if you want to understand if this will also work fine or not, I'll just try to write z equal to x plus I'd like to verify this. So please do observe, this code has five as a list, not one integer. This has got the remaining elements. Now you're trying to concatenate and then you got it, right? Yeah. So now if I want to take this statement, I can put it here. And if I want to take this one, I can take, put it out here, right? And this entire thing, I can take it out here and then I can put it here. So one line will do the job. It's doing the job, right? But yes, sometimes what happens out here is the value of D can be greater than n. If in case value of d is greater than n, then there will be a problem. Like for example, we have five elements, I want to perform six number of rotations. So if I want to perform six number of rotations, remember, after the first rotation, we know it will be 2, 3, 4, 5, 1. Then next rotation will be 3, 4, 5, 1 and 2. Then next rotation, it will be 4, 5, 1, 2, 3. That is third rotation. Fourth rotation will be 5, 4, Five, one, two, three, four. Then it will be one, two, three, four, five. So please do observe. After five rotations, it is back to my original. And six rotation, it will be like two, three, four, five, one. So this is same as the first rotation after the one rotation. So to take care of this situations, what I'll try to do it is the value of d will be d mod n. This is especially in case if the value of d is greater than n. Okay. So now if you want, you can also perform this operation out here. I'm just doing it as 8. So it's like equivalent to doing 3 rotations. So after 3 rotations, it will be 4, 5, 1, 2, 3. Got it. So we got this one. Now I'll try to take this particular code snippet and 
I'll try to paste it here. Let me submit this particular code. It is passed this test case, which is in the data structure section. And the same code snippet, I'm going to take it up and also put it into this LinkedIn placement section. And I'll try to run this. Pass the sample set test cases. The same logic, we can basically solve two problems. Right? I hope all the concepts are clear. And even this particular concept of star applying on a list is going to print all the elements of the list without a comma and a square bracket. Thank you all.